Hi, I'm Tom Perini. Welcome to the Perini Ranch Steakhouse in Buffalo Gap, Texas. We're a destination steakhouse and people come from all over to have dinner with us. We serve simple, good food. Come on and join me inside. I want to show you what we're doing. As you can see, this is a very rustic atmosphere and it goes along with our theory about food. We do simple, good food and this is very, very Texas. I want to show you our kitchen and show you how we make this work. Come on over. As you can see, it's very simple. We have a wood grill over here. We have our fryers, flat grill, ovens, and we're getting ready to cook a certified Angus USDA high choice ribeye. And we have our own seasoning that we put on. It's about an inch and a quarter thick. And when this is cooked with on mesquite, this is the real flavor of, of good beef like this. Jason, if you'll be kind enough. When we cook over live fire like this with a mesquite wood, it will give it just a little kiss of char, which makes the steak really taste good, especially if it's a medium rare like that. It's just a wonderful complement to the beef. Now this is mesquite wood. We buy about five cords at a time. If you look at this, it's a beautiful hardwood when it gets that pretty red color. It makes a wonderful barbecue or cooking wood because it makes a hot coal. The reason we use mesquite wood is that Texas is known for its mesquite trees. And if you look around the ranch, you'll see lots of mesquite trees that are very, very close. And this is one of our secrets because when we cook either steaks or prime ribs or ribs or tenderloin on this, it gives it a wonderful flavor and a lot of people just use ovens. But we, this is the old time way of cooking. This is a roaster barbecue pit. And the difference is a roaster is you shovel coals. We cook down mesquite coals. You shovel coals in the bottom, the heat will rise and the meat on the top you have to turn about every hour. These are pork ribs that we're getting ready to serve tonight. And you can see what a pretty color they are and how nice and tender. And of course, these are prime ribs. And we'll, we'll take these in, we'll let them rest a little while, 30 minutes, and then we'll slice them and they'll be wonderful. And this is the finished product with the ribs. I'm getting kinda hungry. The way we cook in the steakhouse was all started by the way they cook on the chuck wagon in the early days. After the Civil War, when the guys came back, their farms and things had just gone to pot, but they had, there were millions of wild cattle. And they figured that if, if they could drive these cattle from South Texas all the way up to Abilene, Kansas, approximately 750 miles, that they could make money. You'd be driving 2,000 head of cattle for two months You'd have about 90 horses, 12 cowboys, but how do you feed 12 cowboys moving every day with a cattle herd? And this is where Charles Goodnight came in. He is credited with the creation of the first chuck wagon. Now, the word chuck is an old English word that means food. They referred, when they said there was time to eat, they would refer to chuck and having chuck. So when Charles Goodnight created this chuck box, this is where you would keep all the cooking equipment. I mean, you had your seasonings, you had spoons, you had saws, you had your plates. All your small items were here, but what made this really unique was this lid. And so your work surface closes when you're traveling. And then when they would get where they are at a water hole where they were gonna water cattle, they would lower this and this makes your work surface when you're making bread or whatever you're doing. Charles Goodnight created the first chuck box when it was placed inside a regular farm wagon or a military wagon, it became a chuck wagon, food wagon. And then when the cook didn't do such a hot job in cooking, you would up chuck. Now I know that's a word you've heard all of your life, but now you understand where it actually came from. And I'd like for you to come back and see us at the wagon sometime. I think you'll enjoy it.